This is the third Mastery Challenge. It's called Unattended Consequences, and it's in Colorado. It's an accident contract. And uh, the master requirements for this are no knockouts and don't use your gun or fire it for any reason. So what I'm going to do there is just drop the gun right at the start of the mission, just to prove that you don't need it to actually do this. So for the master requirements, you can't fire any guns, and you can't knock anyone out. Which, since we're required to start in the suit, that's going to be a bit of a problem. But what we can do is, from the start, run all the way over here, and if you're getting here in time, you can just stop here. And there's a guy there, he's going to turn around and walk the other way. If you're too late, he'll be walking towards you, and that can make it easy to get spotted here. But if you did it just right, that guy will turn around to the barrel, the other guy will turn around and start walking away. You can go this way. Now, you're going to want to go a little wide. This guy is tying his shoe, which for some reason makes it almost impossible for him to see anything. That guy is going to turn and start walking this way. Make sure he turns first, or he'll spot you as you're going under. And then kind of stop here until about 50 seconds, so the guy can turn and start looking away over the uh, railing there. And then climb inside here. What we're going to do is we're going to get a disguise, um, but we have to be careful. There's the point man over there. He's going to walk to his water bottle, and one of our targets, he's going to get up and walk to, I think, the sink. Once they're both turned around, we're going to run in here, and we're going to get this disguise. Kind of smush back up into the corner, because there's a guy on the left who can maybe see you changing disguises and could spot you. But now that we have a disguise, we're in much better shape. Not that many enforcers of this one, the militia technician, and uh, our suit's in a reasonable spot. So what we're going to do is turn off that generator by the greenhouse. We're going to wait for this target to walk past so that he's not looking at us. There's also a guy over there looking at the boxes, and he's turning away to walk away. And then we're going to use the screwdriver on this. Even though we're a technician, it does not count as a maintenance job, so for whatever reason, you're suspicious if you use tools on anything. But the reason we had to wait for the generator to be off is because uh, that puddle is already electrified, and if you were to use the screwdriver on it while the generator's on, you would die. Now, he'll fix the generator, and then he'll walk back across the puddle and die, so we'll do that. Then we'll come back here, and we'll turn on uh, the sink after we mess with that thing, and then we'll come over here and turn on the electricity. Again, that's so that we don't die automatically from messing with that. So, our uh, target in there will also electrocute himself. So now what we need is to take care of the other three. And for that, we're also going to need a wrench in addition to the screwdriver. So you can go to the garage. There's one in the garage where the militia technician starts, but there's also one here in the shed. So we're going to do that. Okay, so the two electrocution targets have killed themselves, which means that the puddles have shorted out, so they're safe. So we don't have to worry about anybody else dying from that. Next guy is this target, and he's going to go smoke by this barrel after he pees, so we just puncture that tank. I just kind of crouched down to make sure that nobody would see me. And we're just going to run back to the kitchen, where we have one more target. Uh, the chef, obviously. So what we're going to do is, uh, since we can't fire a gun, we can't just shoot that... Uh, what? Fire extinguisher? Instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of coin him away. Just really any distraction where he's not looking at you. Then we're going to turn off the stove and use the wrench to start a gas leak. Make sure the stove is off first, because, again, you don't want to explode yourself. Then I'm going to pick up the fire extinguisher and just kind of drop it somewhere else. That's so that the explosion from the stove doesn't also explode the fire extinguisher and possibly kill somebody else. I just want to avoid that. It should be relatively safe, uh, the stove explosion. Sometimes that fire extinguisher can kill one of the guys. So, Douglas Gray is the guy who was smoking. He's dead. And Another Robert Powell has also off. exploded. Oh, wow. Now, the thing is, uh, nobody over here heard that, so they're not concerned. So what I'm going to do is distract the last target, Eddie Hobbs, and wrench the thing open. He was about That's to start weird. smoking, so I know he's going to blow himself up soon. And his friend is about to walk over here to the car, so I need to get his friend out of the blast range. So I don't so I'm just going to distract him. That will also distract Hobbs for a moment, and then he'll go back and start smoking here. Now, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take for him to detonate, so I'm bumping into his friend so that his friend does not walk over to that car. As long as he's over here. Okay, and that can be care of So, we've killed five people, two with electrocutions, one with fire, and two with explosions. Uh, we only had to use a, a screwdriver and a wrench, and we did not have to fire a gun at all. Now, of course, you can do this much faster with a gun, because most of the things that I just activated, you can activate with a gun. So, you can shoot the electrical plugs, you can shoot the fire extinguisher, you can shoot the tank that the guy burns from. So, just come back in here, and hopefully everyone's left already to go check out the uh, exploded cook. You can just get your suit back. If not, just be patient, wait for another opportunity to change and leave. And then exiting is just going to be a matter of whether anybody is okay, guys, over here looking. And just head for the boat. And that'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about the cameras, because there's no cameras anywhere. Be anyway. So, things taken care of. And that'll do it for that one.